Hey, this is John with I'm Learning Digital Photography.com. And today's tutorial, I'm going to show you what I have learned uh, that makes a lot of difference is using an adjustment layer, and in particular, using the hue and saturation adjustment layer to just enhance your color, a specific color uh, in, in the image that you have. So I'm taking an image, a JPEG here of a guitar I have, and I'm going to go to here and create a new adjustment layer and in particular we're going to be examining the hue saturation adjustment layer so now we have a few controls here hue saturation lightness and also you'll notice master here uh, the thing was we want to do is change a specific color and not the entire colors on the entire picture so we're going to go to reds or, you know, it's going to pick a red for you here. A better thing to do is just take the color dropper and just say, you know, this color red. Click on it. That's the color I want to uh, enhance with the hue saturation adjustment layer. So now I'll just take these sliders here and just test them out. Take the saturation, you know, slider, take it down. You can see it dramatically changes. You can do some cool black and white pictures by using a bunch of different hue and saturation adjustment layers so you know taking it around and it enhances it a lot so take the lightness move it back and forth you can see it changes it a lot so I want to make that red stand out so what I'm gonna do maybe saturate that a little bit it stands out I'm gonna take the lightness you can actually change the entire feel of the whole photograph and that kind of gives you a deep burgundy type red on the guitar now and uh, makes it stand out so I put that for the reds and maybe I want the fretboard all this brown here to stand out a little bit more so I'm gonna go to cyan's click on this now it's only gonna adjust that and I will have some of that brown in here too as well so there's some ways to around that as well but we're just going to talk about the hue and saturation adjustment layer so you can kind of enhance those colors too it kind of blends in a little bit so you may have to use a selection tool to um, make sure you got only the neck selected so we're just going to stay with the reds right now we're not going to talk about the selection tool so the reds, we had this. And preview it. Here's uh, after we added the hue and saturation adjustment layer. Here's before. So there's quite a bit of change going on there. So we'll OK that. And then you can come over here and change it to uh, overlay mode. And it's going to be way too much. So now we can right click on that hue saturation adjustment layer. Go to blending options. And just take down the opacity. Now we can add the amount of effect we want. Or you may just want to use normal mode. Overlay mode is, you know, ups the contrast a little bit. For this one, I think, I'm think i thinking that the normal is going to work the best. Crank the opacity up, and I kind of like the look of that. So that's just kind of one thing you can do with the hue and saturation adjustment layer. 